Nine officers from Hampshire and Isle of Wight Constabulary, including detectives and specially trained officers, carried out the work in Town Range in the ongoing investigation into the disappearance of Simon Parks. Despite compelling new information which triggered this latest search, the outcome was not the news anyone wanted to hear. Another week that began in hope has ended once again in disappointment for the Parks family. But it's certainly not the end of the road for this particular line of inquiry. I've spoken to Margaret Parks this afternoon and whilst it has been an upsetting week for herself and her husband David who had really hoped finally that Simon's remains would be recovered, she is very encouraged by the support that she has received from so many people in this community and thanks the Hampshire Police and the RGP for all their hard work this week in trying to recover Simon. In a statement, Detective Chief Inspector Adam Edwards, who led the investigation, said it's disappointing that his team did not identify anything that helps to move the investigation forward. He said there is no intention to expand the search area or to move to other locations, but he did stress the investigation remains ongoing. DCI Edwards thanked colleagues at the Royal Gibraltar Police and the Gibraltar Defence Police for their help with this latest operation, as well as the public for their patience during this time. He said they've kept Mr and Mrs Parks informed of progress and thanks them for their support. And although he acknowledged this remains a difficult time for them, he said he hopes their ongoing work will bring them the answers they so desperately want. Following the operational activity, the officers visited the memorial site for Simon and laid some flowers to show their support to his family. But I too am not giving up. The town range area covers a large site that stretches at the back to the Rock and the Rock Club, an area which in the 80s was badly lit, full of debris and building materials and was a favourite haunt for some sailors. So what we learned this week is that the town range car park is the scene of the current investigation into the disappearance of Simon Parks. We also know the date he went missing. It's the 12th of December 1986. So if you can stretch your mind back and if you were in this area if you're one of these residents in one of these buildings around the town range car park and you remember seeing or hearing something strange that night which you couldn't place but you can now put into better context then please call the RGP on 200 72500 or if you're in the UK you can phone Hampshire police on 101 quoting Operation Thornhill. Any small piece of information might prove useful, and although we haven't found Simon on this occasion, his light continues to shine brightly, and maybe one day it might just lead us to him.